So before we get going on this lesson, it's important to realize that Odd Future tuned their keyboards up for this song. When I figured this out and checked it on my keyboard, I was 23 semitones above perfect tuning. When you're playing this song, if you want the 100% accurate feel, the 100% accurate pitch of the song, make sure your keyboard's tuned 23 semitones up. If it only does increments of 10 semitones, just tune it up 20, and that should be close enough. So for your instrumental backing part to this song, the main part, when Earl's saying, all the bad bitches booing you rap, I could teach you how to pull them like a tutor, etc, etc, that's going to go as follows in the right hand. You're going to play B, F, A, E, B, F, A, E, B, F, A, E, B, F, A, you're going to roll through from an A to a B, and then continue the riff. So once through your right hand is With that your left hand is going to be playing this B A C B A C B C A B C A B A Putting those two parts together, you should get something like this. That's the chorus of your song. There's also going to be one high note that hits like the second time through the chorus loop. In my cover, you're going to see at the end of the video, I'm going to play an octave of a B. Those are both B's, I'm just going to hit it, and you just let it ring. The timing is going to be all the bad, it's going to be on the three of the first measure of your chorus loop. So it's all the bad, and then you just let it ring. That's the only other thing from your chorus. Also in your verses, you're going to have an instrumental part. Uh, your right hand chord is going to start here. You're going to be playing A, D, A, and then you're going to switch the A to an F, so it's going to be, and then your left hand is going to answer that with D, F, sharp, F. So, and then you just keep repeating that, so it's. Keep in mind that I am showing you the left hand a little bit higher than where it should be. It should be an octave or 12 half steps that way. So, but yeah, that's all you need to learn for this verse. Uh, it comes in the first time when you hear Earl say, I invest stock in wet rock. It's at the very beginning of the song. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Crack Slang Explained. I am your host, Dr. Lewis Dingleberry. On tonight's episode, we examine the significance of the first stanzas of Earl Sweatshirt's song, Ipar. In this first stanza, the young lad Earl claims to be investing stock in wet rock. Rock, as it is known in this context, refers to fencyclidine, abbreviated more commonly as PCP. Infidels and other lowlifes refer to this compound as angel dust. It is a recreational hallucinogen. But, by adding the adjective wet, to the rock. Earl the young lad is referring to soaking marijuana cigarettes in PCP and then smoking them for an amplified hallucinogenic effect. Quite an interesting portfolio decision to say the least. And that's Epar by Earl Sweatshirt featuring Vince Staples.